Nice. What do you think of that new intro? Pretty buzzing with that. Wicked, weren't it? Right, welcome back, y'all. How are you doing? Okay, got the door card in. Bomb, bomb. Look at that. Nom, nom. Oh, hey. Nice little pull tab. Um, right, today's agenda. Let's have a little look. New engine mount. Look at that bad boy. Gone for a fast road kit. Fast road kit. Yeah, but they do a competition kit. Obviously the main difference between them is that competition kit is gonna be a lot stiffer and a lot harder. And obviously I've gone for the road kit because I'm planning to use this track car on road as well as on track. Um, so therefore the vibrations should be a little bit more bearable. A much better feel to the car. A lot better response and obviously it just stops your engine from flexing all over the place. A standard engine mount here. Um, it, it's got a bit of play. I've got no fluid leaking or anything out of it. But there is quite a lot of play there. And I noticed this on the when it was on the dyno and we had the bonnet open. The engine was really twisting a lot when he was absolutely giving it some full pelt. Um, probably is quite normal for a bit of movement, but it just seemed quite excessive um, at the time. So, safe and sorry, gonna get it replaced. And obviously, because we're replacing it, we're gonna upgrade it. Okay, so I've now got the girl jacked up and she is on an axle stand there. I've now got my block of wood here, which we are going to pop on the jack and that is going to go onto the engine sump underneath. Before you start all kicking off in the comments, don't jack up your car under the oil sump. Um, all you're doing is just giving it a little bit of pressure, just taking that pressure off the engine mount um, you're not actually really jacking up the car on it. So the car should still be on your axle stand there. Um, it's just, yeah, just lift it up ever so slightly. It just releases that pressure from your engine mount, allowing you to take unbolt the engine mount without the engine dropping too much. But you've still got all your other mounts on the engine, so it's not an issue really. Okay, so then for the engine mount, we've got four bolts. We've got one, two, I don't know if you can see that, three and four. That is for your main engine mount, which we're gonna undo them four bolts first, and then we'll undo this nut here. Okay, I forgot to mention, before you take off your top nut here, just unbolt this earth cable here. Um, so that's obviously gonna stop your engine mount coming out. Don't worry about this PC valve, because that is connected to a metal bracket here. So that will just come out of the way. That is not a problem at all. Okay, so a bit of wiggling. This wheel just now pull out. That is your engine mount. So now we're left with one bolt here and one bolt underneath, which we're gonna have to go through the wheel arch. Okay, so now you need to go through the wheel arch, but you don't need to unscrew anything at all, which is pretty cool. Um, you just got this big flappy bit here just get your few extensions all connected together. And then there's a bolt deep in there, which you just got to undo. Nice Torx bolt, simple. Okay, that is a Torx bolt and as expected, um, yeah, it looks like it's been leaking. So, good job we replaced that. Right, should come out now. Oh yeah, look at that. So yeah, signs it's been leaking a little bit, but not much really. It's not in as bad condition as I thought it was, um, which is not a problem, but always good to get something nice, new, shiny. Look at that. What? Badass. Reassemble it the way you took it all off. So I'm going to quickly do that. I'll check in with you in a minute. Sitting there under cover, my little Ducati. Roll on summer. <laughs> Get back out on that bad boy. Missing that thing. Right, 
right, so just giving this engine mount a nice lick of paint so she's looking a lot nicer. Look at that. Disaster. Right, um, bit of a cock up my end, but I'll make the mistakes so you don't have to. Right, I've over tightened this earthing cable here and it has absolutely snapped off. So, I did not think an engine mount would have that softer metal on it, but live and learn. <laughs> I'm gonna order me a new engine mount now and I'll get that fitted at some point. But for now, that looks absolutely amazing. What an upgrade that is. Yeah. Mint. Okay, so I'm just gonna show you how much less movement that's got now. That is much better. Need to get these bonnet struts replaced because at the moment this lovely spirit level is holding up my bonnet and I'm in the spirit of hoping it doesn't fall off and land on my head, but. <laughs> just a reminder guys, thousand subscribers by the end of January and we will blow this airbag up. Come on, help a brother out here. Click that subscribe. Looking absolutely beautiful. All I really got time for today, so stay tuned. See you next Thursday. Cheers, guys.